Hey, coming to you with another video. My name is Shay and this is Live Life. And in this channel, basically, we just talk about experiences and living life, mainly discussing basically toxic people, their behaviors, and basically things that you can do um, to avoid these types of people or at least navigate your own life. We can't control other people, their behaviors or actions, but what we can do is learn and grow in ourselves and learn how to navigate the waters, you know, around these people, right? So this episode is uh narcissists are copycats. Um literally um I wouldn't say get annoyed when they copy you because understand they can copy you like they could wear the same perfume or cologne as you they could you know men if y'all rock a beard or a mustache or a goatee or whatever and then that other guy is like mimicking you like if you have a beard and then you decide to just have a mustache and they shave off their beard and they decide to just wear a mustache you know what I'm saying? Ladies, you wear your hair a certain way, then that person wears their hair a certain way. Understand, that toxic person is competing with you. But see, the thing is, you're unaware that they're competing with you. If anything, they're competing because they're jealous. They're, they're too stupid to even realize that their jealousy makes them a fan. They admire you. They admire you. Now, they'll never tell you that they admire you. They're never going to tell you that they're your biggest fan. So what do they do to try to, you know, because there are qualities and traits that you possess that this toxic individual wants so badly and so desperately to wish that they themselves had too. But see... Not everybody has charisma. Not everybody has that personality to, um, you know, not everybody has the it factor, I'll call it. You know what I'm saying? And I'll just give you an example. So, you know, I started my channel and everything like that, um, originally aimed at narcissism or toxic people. But then I also go by, you know, what you focus on. Um, the universe will bring more of that into your life because you're focusing on it. Well, I don't want narcissistic and toxic people in my life like that. So I do not want to 100% focus on it, which is why I do discuss spiritual things and other things on my channel. But I just wanted to share my experiences because you know, um, some people might look at it like, oh, you're bashing the narcissist. They have a personality disorder, a mental illness. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Like, it does not dismiss their behaviors. You know, if these people are not willing to go to therapy, counseling, and then even if you manage to get them to go, they're just going to manipulate the damn therapist. They're not going to change. They're not. Trust me. They're not. You know, um, there is one guy. Uh, his YouTube channel is Mental Healness. He is a diagnosed narcissist. And he gives you a whole bunch of videos from a narcissist perspective to actually tell you what goes through the mind of a narcissist regarding emotions, how they act, things of this nature. Dude is pretty interesting. Um, uh, HG Tudor is also a self-aware diagnosed narcissist. And I think he's either a sociopath or a psychopath. I can't remember. But he gives you insight as to how the mind of a narcissist operates as well. Only thing is, He's a coward, in my opinion, because he refuses to show his face. I want to see what you look like, H.G. Tudor, if you ever see this. I want to see your damn face. I want to see who you are, you know? <clears throat> I think everybody deserves to see who you are, but you know that if you show your face, your supply, if they come across your information, they're going to run away, and you can't have that, but whatever, right? Anyways, narcissists are copycats. 
they're copycats because they try to copy everything you do your hairstyle from the way you do your makeup to the clothes you wear they try to compete with you with the kind of car you drive how you're living the kind of food you eat um i'm gonna give you an example um i was trying to you know start this is when i first started trying to eat healthy and things like that um i remember um i was starting to drink water every day at least like i think one to three bottles of water each day something like that which i need to get back into doing um and i remember this guy at my old job you know he was all like yeah yeah um you know i drink like a gallon a day a gallon a day so for 365 days you drink a whole gallon of water like that's a little too much water don't you think i'm just saying like uh too much of anything can kill you there's always there always should be moderation in everything anyways you have these people who want to you know they like to one up you and you know things of that nature you know just like when i bought my camaro you know my mom was all like <laughs> well i went and bought me a porsche nobody gives a fuck about your porsche and if you're complaining about a $600 oil change, honey, a Porsche ain't for you. I can only imagine how much your headlights or an alternator or a tire and, I don't know, water pump, an engine, transmission would cost you. And the only people who could work on Porsche is Porsche. So, good luck with that, lady. Anyways, um, I remember back, like, in my teenage years... Um, I used to say snapple crack. I used to say snap crackle pop and I would snap my fingers and shit, right? It was just something that I liked doing. Like, I don't know where I got it from or why I wanted to do it, but I just, it would, it was something, a mannerism slash, you know, saying or lingo that fit me, you know, my personality, who I am, things of that nature, right? So all of a sudden my mama, uh, snap crackle pop. And I'm like, did this bitch really, at 40-something years old, steal my fucking line? Steal my my thing? Really? And she ruined it, basically, that I stopped doing it. And I found a new thing. Then when I started doing that, she started mimicking that. I'm like, wow. Narcissists don't have a personality. They literally adopt and you know copy the personalities of other people you know these people have no creativity i mean they can but for the most part no i remember like this is back um when we had dial up internet you know aol you got mail you know stuff like that right um i remember i was on the computer on the internet or whatever and it would just always be quiet so i decided to turn the tv on as background noise while i'm on the computer doing homework or whatever it was right so i'm doing that and she comes in and scolds me you're burning electricity turn that tv off and she'll turn her tv off and i'm like wow she literally just scolded me yelled at me cursed me the fuck out then do you know a couple days later I catch her on the computer with the TV on. So I said the same shit to her. Turn this goddamn TV off, burn all the electricity. And I turned the TV off and all that shit, right? You know, she up there, I'm the parent. I was like, I don't care. How the hell you gonna yell at me and you turn around and do the same shit? You deserve to be scolded, yelled and cursed back out. I didn't curse her out, but I scolded and yelled at her and turned that bitch off. Because if you're going to get on my ass, I'm about to get back on yours. Ain't no way in hell you about to sit here. Uh, and then that's where that toxic ass saying, uh, do as I say, don't do as I do or whatever the fuck. No, your actions speak louder than words. Kids are going to mimic your actions and your words. You know what I'm saying? But if you tell a kid, if you go... And, you know, slap somebody in the face. And then you tell your child, don't slap people in the face. What you mean don't slap people in the face? Didn't you just go up to that stranger and just slap them for no reason? What kind of message 
are you sending? You know what I'm saying? Well, do as I say, don't do as I do. That shit sounds so fucking toxic and stupid. A narcissist had to have made that shit up. <laughs> For real. They had to have made that up. Because I forgot. They have different standards for other people but they don't follow certain they they bend and change the rules for themselves but whatever the case is look if there's somebody out there copying you you know i'm saying mimicking you your mannerisms how you the lingo of how you talk you know um just anything that makes you you and they begin to mimic it or copy it <laughs> Take it as a sign of admiration. They're jealous and they're low-key competing with you, but they're not gonna tell you they're competing with you. And you damn sure not gonna tell you that they're jealous of you. They're not, they're not. But that is just them being a copycat. Just understand, it's admiration. They're your biggest fans. And if they act like a hater, they are a hater, but haters are fans too. So what they say, what T.I. say? Uh, fuel my fire like okay and anyways comment down below and tell me who was the copycat in your life copying you and all these things like that anyways be sure to like share subscribe all that good stuff and i'll holla at y'all later